Welcome to my channel, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece and today I will make a crappy ball Masterpiece So I know many of you are really looking forward to these crazy projects, big projects that I normally do but I want to be honest with you I am right now really struggling for time and uh, little bit of material and maybe a little bit of energy so sometimes I really have to do these smaller projects and uh, I really want to practice carving so I am going to recycle an old material an old project and uh, yeah so nothing crazy going on today I'm afraid so let's head downstairs and I am going to show you how to make a crappy ball using very expensive material and lots of work. Okay, let's get to it. So those of you who follow my channel for a long time, you might still remember this piece. I think it is called the dream ball. So basically when I bought my lathe, that was my goal. That's what I wanted to achieve. So let me show you how we get to this point. If you want to watch the original video, you still can do it. The link is in the description, but you have to understand something. I can't repeat content. That's a really big no-no with YouTube. So quick montage, basic stuff. So I am going to try to recycle this one into something. To be honest, I am very limited by the shape and by the size. I'm not sure what am I going to make. Well, recently I am not really on top of my game. I had really nice plans, but it just doesn't seem to come into reality somehow. I decided to try to model with clay and it went horrible. <laughs> Let me show you. So I have a really good idea. I want to practice carving, so my idea is I grab the plate and I am going to try to mimic my hand is pushing into the wood like it was clay so I am going to try to carve the print of my fingers into the ball but for that I need a reference material so I have some clay and I will put the clay on a piece of plywood and I try to squash or push my fingers into it so I will get like a reference material. This thing is, this thing is, this is hard. It's not like homogene or something, it's just breaking apart. This thing sucks. Mm. 
can't control the camera because I can't touch anything okay now it's perfect I am a really patient man but this thing is just new plan so after careful consideration I have decided clay is not the material for me because clay sucks I apologize, I find it so difficult to film this thing, this really fine wood shaving just flying everywhere and it goes into the camera lens and uh, it's not good for you guys. Are you alright? This one found it really difficult to design around it because I already have the shape and every idea that I have it just just doesn't fit so I spent an entire day just literally just wasting time and trying to find out something anyway I'm just going to make a simple pattern because I want to carve we pour some gold in it I'm going to send it back so most of it will be visible but inside there will be gold shining through so hopefully it will look cool I can give you a sample before I ever had wood turning channel or before I even had my wood turning lathe I was trying to play with carving and uh, it's pretty much like a bone structure so I done this one two years ago never actually made anything out of it but we do something like this So these dental burl style bits are really good. For straightening the walls, this is probably the best tool that you can use.
okay I masked it out so the color is always a problem it's very difficult to imagine how it will look like I think I use black and just a hint of gold and I might even send it back I'm sorry I didn't realize my hand is blocking the camera view so unfortunately I don't have a better picture of this but what I done I literally just dry brush puffed their pigment on it and just covered it with clear lacquer when I finished Mustard piece. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call. Thank you.